So here is the start list for an A final here, right into the A final for the under 17 women's C1 1000 meter race. So of course we'll be keeping an eye on those middle lanes. It's been an interesting week of competition in particular between Asia Diebel and Kiza Blyler. They have gone back and forth. Diebel and Blyler were second and third respectively in the 500 meter C1 final from a day ago. But then on Friday, they certainly had a race to remember in the 200 meter sprint. It was Asia Diebel with the win by about one tenth or so of a second over Kiza Blyler for that national goal. It was Janina Winicki as well who finished third for that 200 meter final and then Winicki ended up winning the 500 meter gold but not in the running here for the 1000 meter race. And there you see lane number four. That is Kiza Blyler chugging away through the first half of this race and right there on cue in lane number three as well is Asia Diebel and not far behind her in lane number five as well is Mila Soulier of Rideau. So as we might have expected there, Arkeza Blyler currently leading the field, but not far behind Asia Diebel in lane three, and Mila Soulier is in lane five. I find myself here just on the shore, just by the finish line at Mooney's Bay. You can still see the overcast skies in the background of the images today at Mooney's Bay, although the sun trying to shine through a little bit on the left side, that would be a welcome sign. Of course, we saw the sun uh, aplenty throughout the week. It was a hot week with temperatures well into the 30s. They've taken a dive for the weekend, but starting to climb back up into the mid 20s this afternoon. There you see in the middle, lane number four, that is Keisha Blyler of Foss Creek Sprint Canoe Club finding herself through the middle and in the lead. To her outside in lane number five is Mila Soulier, and then lane three, can't see them there yet, but Asia Diebel is in lane number three, and at least through the first half, she found herself in the mix. But right now, it is Blyler who is pulling away in lane number four with about 100 meters to go in this 1,000 meter endurance race, looking to bring home a national gold medal to the Pacific Coast is Blyler, in the final stretch of this A final in the under 17 women's C1 1000 meter race. Doesn't look like anybody is going to catch Blyler here. No final pushes from lanes five and three. This could be close though for that second silver spot between Diebel and lane three and Mila Soulier up high in lane five. Here they come to the finish. Blyler will cross the finish line first to take the gold. And for second, Soulier in five, just able to edge out Asia Diebel for that second spot. And just outside the podium will be lane two's Jacqueline Moore. How about Kiza Blyler, who is your junior national champion at the under 17 level for the women's C1 1000 meter. Kiza, congratulations. You had some close races Thank this you. week. You finally bring home the gold in the women's C1 1000 meter. Woo! Tell us about that race. Um, it was really tough. 1000s aren't really my, my race. So it was, um, it was extra hard. And the girls out there, they're amazing. They're super fast and the sportsmanship is absolutely wonderful. And I'm so happy to race with them. Of course, and it's great to see. You can see it out there on the water. And I, I have to ask you as well about the Pacific Coast. It's great to see False Creek Sprint Canoe Club represented there and now at the top of the podium as well. So what can you tell us about back home and some of the support that you received there? Well, my coach, she's absolutely wonderful. I've been training with her since I was like 10 years old. And she's like my mom. I love her so much. And I'm so happy to train with her. And the club there, our club dynamic is just wonderful. We love training together. We spend so much time together. It's awesome. Now, just tell me about your Nationals experience this year, getting to not only compete against some of your teammates and maybe some other folks that you're you know, very aware of from the West Coast, but getting to see paddlers as well from the East Coast, the Atlantic, of course, Ontario and Quebec as well. How has that been? The, well, this is my, my first Nationals in Sprint Canoe. And so it was my first time actually seeing all the other girls race. And it was amazing. They're all so fast and, and it's just wonderful. <laughs> Excellent. Well, great race and congratulations on the Junior National Championship. Thank you so much.